Sophie from Aluna and this is Michael Cowell and we're here to talk about our album artwork. Michael has um, created the entire visual concept for the album. So originally I sent Mike a very limited brief regarding the artwork. Um, I just gave him some themes to start with, so paganism, nature, um, English folklore, uh, the imagery of the Art Nouveau move movement, specifically Aubrey Beardsley and Alphonse Mucha, and just gave him those to start with and he basically came up with the concepts for the album. After Sophie had given me some of those ideas, I kind of went away and had a bit of a think. Um, I knew she was quite heavily interested in sort of Wiccan mythology and that part of uh, English folklore. And um, very much things like the, uh, the ideas of the triple goddess and what they represent and uh, the horned god uh, the interplays between these figures. It was very interesting to me to see how we could combine those in an image without it harking back to the very typical uh, scenes that you see, very typical depictions. Like, uh, it was very important to me that the horn gun shouldn't look like some mm. sexy green furry guy, um, but something more primal, more natural than that. That moved on to sort of thinking more about what Wicca takes from the Druidic traditions, uh, especially with the oak and the ash and the rowan. So it was very important that the, uh, the trees were used correctly as well. Uh, so the horn god is depicted resting on a rowan sapling, um, that being of course the maiden. He's being sheltered under um, an oak, which have, uh, represents the mother, sort of the maternal instinct to protect. And the, um, in the background being a crone, sort of, uh, the crane always being depicted as some slightly bitter, removed from the rest of the uh, the cycle, a sort of an almost hermetic figure uh, in the background uh, as an ash tree. You're right. So I did a lot of research into the correct leaves, the correct bark structures, especially on the oak where it gets much more complicated, and especially building that arc over the piece to shelter him. Uh, working into this, of course, we had uh, Soph's interests in Art Nouveau very much in mind for a border that we ended up stripping back as a very subtle depiction of the symbology representing the Triple Goddess that you'll see in the final artwork. The sort of support structures between the Triple Goddess and um, Hearn or the, uh, and the Wild Hunt. And that's what ended up being represented in this. So we have the horns, the three moons, and the aspects as represented in the trees there as well. So the reason um, Mike's actually here with us at Alberston is we wanted to bring the album artwork to life as part of the video. So when the video is actually released, you'll see what we've done with that. But um, we wanted Mike to be here so we could be part of the whole process. So we hope we've done him justice.